Now, WTBA Sports with Sports Director Jim Holder. MC Miller has been in coaching for 45 years, but Saturday marked the end of his storied career. Miller is retiring as Louisville's head football coach. As Wildcats trying to send Miller out as a winner one last time as they met Poplarville in the Class 4A state championship game. Wildcats looking to go 9 for 9 in state title games. And the opening drive, though, for Louisville didn't look too good. Deontay Yarborough throws, but he's going to be picked off by. Cannon Ray in Poplarville is in business in Louisville territory. And Poplarville, by the way, runs the triple option. Here's Tyson Holston getting the Hornets on the board with a nine yard touchdown run. It is seven to nothing, Poplarville. Early second quarter, the triple option striking again, and it is Holston again. This five yard run gives Poplarville a 14 nothing lead, but Louisville responds in a big way. Yarborough. Big game for him. Keeps the ball, breaks off into a big game, and he's going deep into Hornet territory. Yarborough really putting this team on his shoulders, especially in the second half. But later in the drive, Yarborough with another big game. This is going to be down to the Poplarville 10 yard line. Yarborough rushed for 160 yards. He also threw for 140 yards and two touchdowns. And here's the first of those. Yarborough to Alvius Haynes to get the Wildcats on the board. Louisville down 14 6 the break, but the Wildcats rally to win 25 to 20. Yarborough, the game's MVP, as Louisville wins the 4A crown. WTBA's Andy Lee is in Hattiesburg covering the state high school football championships. And he joins us now live with an update. Yeah, Jim, Poplarville and that triple option gave Louisville all kinds of fits at the beginning of the game, but. Deontay Yarbrough able to put the team on his back and carry the Wildcats to victory. After the game, Coach Miller and the players said it was all about controlling the line of scrimmage and being the more dominant team in the second half. I knew they were going to move the ball. And uh, my main thing was getting the defense to stop them because they were getting three yards on the cloud of up, three yards on the cloud of up, and then they missed one and get one in. I told them we had to stop that. I told my guy, and we told each other the second half that we're going to dominate the line of scrimmage because they were one that we came out flat the first half, but you know, we stepped it up in the second half, and we came out with the victory. And I don't want to see I just, um, um, our glory go to God, and I love everybody, and shout out to my mom. The Wildcats earned their ninth state championship and finished the season 15 and one. Their only loss this year was to West Point. Segway alert. By the way, there's West Point warming up for their 5A title matchup against West Jones. We'll have highlights and post game reaction of that one at 10 in Hattiesburg. Andy Lee, WTBA 9 Sports. Captain Segway, Andy Lee. On Friday, by the way, Water Valley, Nanawaya, Horn Lake, all won state football championship. 6A game was the nightcap. The Eagles head coach is former Northeast assistant Brad Boyette. But this afternoon, the 2A title game matched Scott Central and Taylorsville. Tartars looking to repeat as state champs, and they got off to a fast start as Carson Evans hits Jabez Griffith on the screen pass. Griffith breaks free for a 56 yard touchdown, made it 7 0 Tartars. Rebels looking to answer. You'll see Trayon Wash swinging one out to Devontae Strong, who makes a big gain. Scott Central goes on to win 21-7. Rebels claim their first state title since 1999. SEC